Hey, I'm off to the studio. It's been a long time since I've been there. I just I've got been going through a real depression for the last month as far as ideas and inspiring and all that stuff goes. I just really had a, I've had a hard time all last month and the start of this month. Uh, one thing I need to do is start sparking the imagination, and one way to do that is uh, well, just start sparking it. All right, I got a <clears throat> for the little project that I'm thinking of to do some uh, pieces that I can, you know, pour myself. I've uh, made a backing here uh, that will uh, support my sculpting. And I'm going to nail this down, or not nail it, but screw it down when I get ready to work on it. But for now. I need to cut off this clay that I just got and uh, get the table cleaned off here. And uh, I got the clay ready to go. And I think, yeah, there we are. And so I'm going to cut up the uh, clay using a pastry cutter. I think that's what they call these things. <clears throat> Clay's a little hard to get through. It hasn't been sitting for very long under the light. I usually like to leave it overnight. But it's... What time is it? It's 7.33 in the evening, so it took me a while to get to this today. So all I'm going to do now is cut up my clay into easier pieces to work with, and uh, tomorrow I'll come in and work on the, uh, the idea that I got percolating in my brain. I think I'm going to let it percolate overnight. Because it just started on the burner recently. This is what I heat my clay in, and it's uh, it's a good little uh, thing. It's a quick thing to fix. You just get a dish pan, and I cut a hole in it so that I can reach in and get it instead of over. And uh, I've got my light above it, and I have to put a screw in to hold the light up because these stupid, cheap, no good lights that they sell nowadays don't have enough strength to even hold the light bulb up. So I've got the light sitting on a screw here to keep it above the uh, pan and keep it above the clay so it doesn't start melting on me. And when I cut the clay I just I'm gonna try something go tomorrow. tomorrow. And I haven't worked on or tried in years. I've done Small pieces I've worked on boards like the one I just set up and uh, before, but I've never really tried what I'm going to be trying. I know I'm teasing you with thoughts, but uh, I want to try something. I just want to do something that can be cast by me in either plaster and sold or cast in resin or cold bronze or you know liquid marble you know there's a formula that you pour into molds that uh, comes out looking just like marble and I've thought about doing something like that and then staining the uh, thing to look old and that's what I'm thinking and uh, not everything has to be cast in bronze I mean I can 
certainly do some stuff that uh, can be done in something a little bit cheaper, something that more people can afford, and uh, hopefully I can sell a few. But I'm going to try to work out some kind of idea. And right now I'm just cutting up this clay that I just received. All right, I think that's good with the clay. Here's the jig that uh, I've made to do my sculptures on. They're going to be sculptures that can be framed. And I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to do or how I'm going to do it. But uh, this is the jig that I made to uh, make it so I can work on them. And right now I'm going to screw this board down. Uh, that's right there. Well, actually I want to leave a little room for my cutting board, which I want to see if I can find here. Yeah, there it is. I like to have my cutting board right in front of me. And, uh, I like using a bamboo cutting board. And I'll just screw this uh, board, baseboard. So as you can see, I've got the board set up and I can work on this and I've got my cutting board here so I can roll my clay on and uh, we'll see what happens. 